Hey beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with DR Holistic Killer. I'm going to be very quick with this quick prophetic message that I received this morning. Um, with all that being said, I just want to let you guys know that I, I had a dream this morning and um, it was basically letting me know that if some of you guys have recently um, met somebody who's been possibly interested in you, I got the feeling like this was like somebody who works at an apartment complex, but it can come in all different shapes of form. You know, whether it's somebody at apartment complex, whether it's somebody on your job or whether it's somebody, you know, within your neighborhood or whatever. Take it how it resonates. But the message came through like somebody has been kind of, I guess, like watching somebody in a sense. Like maybe you guys have, you know, um, said something. Uh, I felt like you guys knew each other, but you didn't really know each other in a sense. So for whoever this message is resonating with, um, not only that, but I did see that this gentleman was like, uh, this can come in a form of whether it is a um, female or a male. So take it how it resonates. It could be a female doing this or it could be a male doing this. But the way it was showed to me in a dream, it was a male who was being, who was aggressive and he was being aggressive towards another man. Like he placed his hand on that man's throat like like he was trying to choke him or whatever because he said something he didn't like so it's just letting me know that this person kind of has a temper so be mindful of that and maybe you don't see this temper but maybe outside of you hanging out with this person this person prob uh, most likely probably has a temper from what I saw but maybe they just don't want you to know that they have a temper but anyway I saw that um this person uh whoever this person may be for whoever this message is resonating with you know may not resonate for all could be just resonate for a few um some of you guys like i said met somebody and i guess i got the feeling not i got the feeling i saw that some of you may find yourselves being intimate with this person but just be mindful i just want to tell you be mindful because i kind of got like this person because and I say that to say because I believe we're coming up we're, we're coming up on Scorpio season should I say and it's not about the person who's a Scorpio it's more like the scorpion uh, a Scorpio season so um, if that makes sense but anyway I say I like to say and Scorpio is usually about deep passionate uh, feelings in regards to sex and so on and so on so you know people's emotions sexually could be running very high during this you know season so i want to make you guys mindful of that so if you're not somebody if you're someone who is looking to save yourself um for the right one who you're trusting god to send you the right person um you know your spiritual spouse your uh i mean yeah i'm sorry your kingdom spouse your kingdom spouse or your uh, twin flame, however you want to resonate. I'm saying those two because those two are the highest vibrating uh, relationships that there are. And I'm not just talking about um, situations of, you know, soulmates, you know, just regular, because uh, I'm not saying soulmate. I, I don't want to confuse you guys. But anyway, those are the two highest vibrating relationships that there are. Twin flames as well as kingdom spouses. and um, So keep that in mind. But anyway, <clears throat> I felt like this person is not a kingdom spouse or it's not a twin flame. But, uh, again, I saw um, somebody wants to try to be intimate with you. Again, whether you're a male or a female. So, I just want to make you aware of that so you know what energy that you're dealing with. So, if you're not, if you're not looking to be intimate with someone mm -hmm. and you know that you are saving yourself for the one, should I say, um, you know your kingdom spouse should i say then you may want to hold off from being intimate with this person because I, I i i remember hearing this person say why did you wait so long to let me in in other words but i kind of i i can't really tell you where this relationship is going but i feel i i personally feel like i don't want to i don't i kind of get that once maybe they sleep with you, you might get um, a different result from this person in a sense. Like, I didn't see that in the dream, but I kind of got the feeling of that. Like, like, uh, it's, it's almost like the feeling of just, I don't know if I want to say testing. I don't know. So, what? I, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say because... You determined how this is going to turn out. I didn't get to see how it was going to turn out. 
normally God shows me and I think he's, he's, he's not allowing me to see the end results because he wants you to use your intuition of you know really seeking um is this the one for me should i be laying down with this person you know if i lay down with this person am, am i gonna find myself you know taking on some of the stuff that they got you know mentally emotionally and you know physically or whatever the case may be so keep that in mind too because you know um as i stated before just just know that you know we, you know when we sleep with people spiritually I mean, excuse me, when we sleep with people physically, spiritually, it's like we tapping into their energy of what it is that they got going on. And it may be some energy that you don't want to deal with, should I say. So um, anyway, I don't want to make that a long story, but I did see the fact of, um, so, please be cautious, because I saw the fact that I feel like whether you're a man or a female, I feel like some of you are going to be so heated in the moment to the point that you're not going to even be trying. And I'm not encouraging sex outside of, um, but, you know, we're all grown here. You know, um, I'm not encouraging just to be laying down and having sex with anybody. But I just want to let somebody know that somebody was worried uh, whether this person had used a condom or not. Because I guess the action had happened so quick. The sex just it just happened very quickly, should I say. I got the feeling it happened very quickly to the point that it's almost like the fee the female didn't even realize what was taking place. And I'll say all that to say because it's like, let me roll my window up, y'all. Because it's almost like she, um, she was worried about whether the man had uh, used a condom. And I could see her looking off to the side of the bed on the floor um, just to see if there was a condom on the floor and there was a condom on the floor so I say all that to say she was she wasn't aware that whether he had used a condom or not so I guess like I said it must have happened fast quick and you know very fiery type energy but as I told you guys before remember anything that happens very quick and fast is going to be sure to end very quick and fast um, but just know that there's probably a soul lesson in the middle of um in the middle of all this happening so just i want you just guys to be mindful of that so just i just wanted to make you aware of that those were the energies that i saw and um yeah so just know that you're gonna maybe have people come in probably soliciting you for sex or you know some of you guys may find yourself in that energy of um you know and it could be yourself that's in that energy or maybe you're in that energy because you're just around this person and you're picking up on their stuff but i saw somebody getting intimate should i say you know now whether they really wanted to i don't know only you guys know that but anyway i just wanted to give you guys that message so um just be mindful to uh protect yourself you know mentally physically spiritually emotion again i'm giving this message not not that i am encouraging you know sex uh with just any random person i'm not doing that at all <laughs> so let me go and give you the disclaimer now um but anyway, so I say all that to say, you guys stay blessed, stay sweet. And again, this is no judgment, but I'm just letting you guys know what season that we're coming up on. So, you know, this will be uh, some people being in that sexual energy that, you know, and again, oh, thank you, Spirit. Let me say this. Um, and if you are someone who feel like, you feel like you want to wait until you know that God is sending you the right person, or some of you could just be in that energy. Oh my God, like I'm so sick and tired of saving myself. Here's the thing. There's other ways you can channel that energy too. In other words, you can do something creative. And I say you can go exercise. You can, you know, channel that energy somewhere else. Uh, exercise, do art, sing, dance, you know, uh, sew, cook, do something. But it'll help you to, to um balance out that sexual energy should i say um again if you're not looking to engage um in the activity so anyway you all stay blessed stay sweet and i wish you all much love much light until the next prophetic message i say peace and blessings and i say bye